DJ from Tarot to Tarot. I hope you guys are having a good start to the week. This is going to be Aries 2020 annual reading. We're going to do nine cards, um, a little different than the usual setup. The first card will be about uh, an overview for this year. Second card in the first row will be about departing energies or energies leaving um, you as you go into the new year. The third card in the last row, or in the first row, I'm sorry, will be what to let go of. The first card in the second row, which is usually your current energy. Uh, the first card there will be what's important for the new year, what's, what's the focus. Second card in that second row will be about your challenge, your obstacle, which is the usual placing for me in a reading. So that'll be your centerpiece. The sixth card, which is also the last card in the second row, where your help will come from next year. First card in the third row, upcoming opportunities. The second card in the third row, what needs to be aligned. And the last card in the third row and the last card for the reading will be what to avoid or any caution for the upcoming year. Oh, housekeeping. Thank you to everybody that has liked, shared, and subscribed my YouTube channel this year. I love you. I appreciate you for it. It gets me all weepy out when I start talking about it, so I'm going to leave that there. So I'll start weeping and crying. Um, indefinitely, personal readings are $20. I've been knocking out two or three every day. Hit me up at tarotatarot at gmail.com. Other information listed below. So let's get this cracked up here. So, it's going to be last year, your departing energy. What to let go of, what's important for the new year, your focus, your centerpiece, your challenge card, the waiting game, your destiny at the end of that row, upcoming opportunities, triumph, material, spiritual prosperity for what needs aligning, and what to avoid, rejoice and celebration. Um, you can also see that as the three of cups. Bang cards. Oh, I got cards all over the place. <laughs> Mental conflict is pulling the ace of coins. Conflict and defeat is pulling the king of wands. Victory and success pulls the communication card. The ace of swords. Harmony pulls the tower. The waiting game, your challenge and your uh, centerpiece card pulls the world. On top of waiting game, destiny pulls the princess of wands. A lot of Aries energy here. Triumph pulls the Wheel of Fortune. Material and Spiritual Prosperity pulls the Ace of Wands. And Rejoice and Celebration pulls the Queen of Cups. Well, she's been making an appearance here the past couple of days with her calm, serene self. <laughs> At any rate, let's get started, Aries. So the first card in the reading talks about basically this year, the last year summary. So this will be the summary for this year. Um, and it seems as if a lot of you were trying to get off into a new relationship, but you had a lot of mental conflict, blocking a lot of shit, keeping you from really trying to move forward or make any forward progress with this relationship. So you may even at this moment still feel like you're kind of at a standstill. You're not going forward. You're not going backward. Some of you with the waiting game, this card here, you may be waiting on someone to graduate so you can get married. Others of you may be waiting on someone to move, but it just seems like for this year, 2019, everything that you try to do regarding this relationship, however that's resonating with you, just caused you a lot of mental anguish and a lot of mental conflict. The departing energies next year, that player playerism, <laughs> that's y'all's energy too, ain't it? Ah, it's fire card. And the whole feeling of just being defeated and conflicted in everything that you do this energy should be raising up off of you during the year 2020 um if you've been for those of you that have been in a relationship and maybe you've been messing around with the player player that's probably going to come to an end um probably more from your end than the other end they it feels like they want to keep hanging on for those of you that are in this kind of relationship it feels like that person might just want to hang on you on the other hand like oh no no and hell no goodbye 
So next year, that will be the energy that will be leaving you. What you need to let go of is communicating your success <laughs> here to everybody. Everybody don't need to know what's going on. And I have a feeling that some of you got into this mess with this person, whoever this happens to be, because you told too many people too much shit about how good your shit was. I'm just saying. So definitely next year, anything related to anything that you're doing, you need to hold your cards close to your vest next year because folks will be talking. And that might have been some of the hang up this year. And you need to let this go. Telling people all your shit, let it go. Just saying. When we get to what's important for the new year, harmony is obviously going to be very important, but maintaining that harmony in the midst of coming back to this shakeups and new beginnings or renewed beginnings for those of you going back in for a second dose what's important is to not focus on the drama it's going to be some drama just get that get ready for that but if you want to keep harmony in your household it is best not to come home talking about all the tower moments you have witnessed, been a part of, whatever. Even if it's concerning your partner. It, let whatever blowouts you have next year, let them just be that and let it go. Don't dwell on it. Don't come back to it. Fuck it. Either you come to an agreement or you agree to agree later or you agree to disagree. However, that's working for you. But the overall thing here is that you need to, this is important, keep your focus on the harmony and not on the drama centerpiece and your challenge the waiting game with the world card on top you have to exhibit some patience little ram i don't know what else to tell you you're just gonna have to exhibit some patience some of this is gonna have to unravel on its own some of these relationship issues others of you that are seeking promotions at work it's going to take a little bit. It's not going to be as cut and dry maybe as you think it will be right now. It's going to be some stuff. You might have to wait on paperwork. You might have to wait on new supervisors or new managers coming in so they can pick up the process. This is not to say you need to fall asleep at the wheel, Aries. No, uh-uh. You just need to be patient but keep your eyes open, especially if there are changes in management. You've got all the knowledge you need to complete, because this is about completion as well, to complete whatever uh, cycle you're in, particularly professionally, uh, you got it, but you're gonna have to wait on it. And that's just, it is what it is. This is one of the things sometimes the universe just wanna fuck with you and take its time doing some stuff. Um, it's a new year and you will be in a new cycle. So again, don't let that, um, don't let the fact that you are waiting on anything keep you from understanding that you're at the beginning of a new cycle. Where help will come from, and now you're talking about your destiny, people that are going to help you along your path to your destiny may be younger. They may not be where you are. They may be somewhere else on the map. They may be a foreigner. I'm just saying, you're going to throw all, all of it up against the wall. You don't know where your help is coming from in terms of people and it might be the very person you think it wouldn't be. So keep your eyes open and just know that when you're dealing with needing help and you're on your path to your destiny um, as you try to negotiate out of this year and into next year, just be mindful of the people around you. It may be another fire sign, an Aries, uh, Leo or Sagittarius. Uh, that might help you get through some of the bumpy parts. Keep your eyes open. Upcoming opportunities. Some of this shit is just going to be the hell out your hand. It's going to be the wheel of fortune doing what the wheel of fortune do. And of course, the devil is always in the details. Um, however, the big signal here is that it's going to be good. But you are going to have to exhibit some patience. Um, you're not going to be able to announce to everybody what kind of success you're having. If you want, want to keep things as they are and not have... My cards are getting old. I need new cards. <laughs> Random shit. Anyway, if you want to keep harmony in your home and peace in your home and not focus on the, the drama and chaos, again, you're going to have that. You're going to be successful. Wheel of Fortune is going to go where it's going to go. 
Uh, it doesn't feel like many of you are going to be surprised by wherever you end up. There may be some surprises, but for most of you, you are on a steady course. Looking at upcoming opportunities, it is best. I don't know where this is coming from, but it is best to kind of keep an air of innocence. This is your energy, Aries, but this is telling me it's best to keep an air of innocence and to keep looking for inspiration in the things that you do um if you want to have any kind of alignment between the material and the spiritual you're gonna have to just keep your eyes open and look for inspiration look for people and things that inspire you it could be art it could be music it could be books it could be a gazillion things but keep your eyes open so that you can get into alignment so you can start manifesting the, the type of material prosperity that you want and I believe along with that as you're doing that your spiritual prosperity will be what it is keep your eyes open keep that air of innocence and wonder going and find your inspiration what to avoid next year celebrating too soon I can't say that no differently you may think you got the job but you might not have it again by keeping your lips zipped <laughs> And not letting your emotions get the better of you, Aries. That is what you need to watch out for next year. Um, everybody doesn't need to know that you've got good shit going on. I don't know why that's resounding so loudly for me, for you, Aries. But like this year, it seems like you just got into some shit and you told people what you were doing. And before you could finish the sentence good, all your shit was just fucked up. Because people just kind of went out of their way to throw roadblocks in your way to keep you from having the kind of happiness um, that you're looking for. And this doesn't have to be strange people. This could be family members, cousins, sisters, aunts, uncles, brothers, you name it. It could be all kinds of people that have just been kind of throwing shit up in your road path. The minute you get ready to go out, your aunt calling, can you come back to the kids? I need you to stay down here. Go down there. You think you're going to be down there for an hour. You're there for the rest of the evening. That kind of shit. Blocking your shit because people just... I don't know. Human beings have an innate way of figuring out when other folks is trying to get up on a come up and get right in the way for no other reason than they just being nosy and don't want you doing nothing better than what they're doing. So if you've had any of that kind of energy going on this year, the thing to remember is any success that you have, you need to keep it to yourself. You don't need to let everybody know what's going on. And to, to maintain some emotional equilibrium um, and not celebrate shit before it's time to celebrate shit. I know that's going to resonate with somebody. But continue to seek out inspiration, Aries. Um, feels like a lot of you are just kind of going through motions with work projects or entrepreneurial projects you may be working on. You just kind of plug it through. Find some inspiration next year. Work on that. Um, try to take time to shut down and go to the art museum. It could even be as simple as going to an amusement park. Just to find some inspiration to keep you going and keep you uh, trying to manifest the type of prosperity that you're looking for. So we're going to do three oracle cards. The Hungry Ghost. The Dragon's Duel. And the Eagle King. So, here's my little box. That's what we're doing for Oracle cards today. And the first one is the Hungry Ghost, Obsessions, Scarcity, Conscientiousness, and Attachment. Obsessions is what's coming back off of this. Um, some of you this year may have been obsessed with something to the point that it just blocked you where you couldn't figure your way out of a paper bag for all that's worth because you just got over excited, overwhelmed, whatever the word is about a situation that is particularly coming back about whatever this situation is here, new relationship or newer relationship um, and about keeping some emotional balance in what you're doing. That is resonating really hard for you next year. Um, there's no reason to obsess over anything. If you like something, that's good. But taking it to the 10th degree, it, there's an element of doing too much in this reading. So telling too much, getting too excited about something, 
um, getting too emotionally worked up about something, counting your chickens before they hatch. This counter was coming back. And that might be the thing next year to keep your eyes open. Overall, just don't count your chickens before they hatch. And just be quiet about whatever's going on. The dragon's duel. Inner conflict, morality, and conscious choice. Conscious choices was coming back off of this. And making conscious choices about your friendships and who you're talking to, the people you're giving personal information to, how you're choosing to keep your emotional balance, not getting overly excited about something, counting your chickens before they hatch, hello. Um, even as far as trying to manifest your material and spiritual prosperity, looking for that inspiration to do so. It's about conscious choice. That's what's coming back off of that. The Eagle King, the big picture, and angelic help. This came up with the Taurus yearly as well. It's the big picture. You need to take a step back. Sometimes we get all caught up and emotional over little petty ass details. You know, the necklace was crooked and the headband was straight in the head. Was, yeah. Uh uh. So take a step back and just look at what's going on around you before you start picking apart all the details. Um, it will serve your greater purposes to look at the big per picture next year versus honing in on little shit. And that may be where some of this stagnant energy is coming from up here at the beginning, um, which you went through this year. Just over-focus on details instead of paying attention to the big picture and trying to get to your main overall goal. Aries, I love you. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. I will talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.